Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial for Ascension's Atlas map style. This is step 25 for the CS6 version. If you have CS5.1 or earlier, click this link to view step 25 for CS5.1 and earlier versions. Otherwise, go to the filter menu, render, lighting effects. This loads the lighting effects workspace. Here, you have a drop down box for presets. So I'm going to load the default preset. So we are starting from the same spot. Next to that are some buttons to add new lights. These buttons confirm or cancel the filter and return you to your Photoshop document. On the right, we have two panels, the properties panel where you set a light's attributes and then below it is the lights panel where you can hide or show lights and select which light you are currently editing. In the main view, you can move the light around and change its shape and adjust some other settings as well. This setup will use five lights with identical size and settings and only their positions differ. So let's set our first light. In the properties panel, set the light type dropdown to point and now the settings. So intensity six, spot is not used, exposure zero, gloss minus 100, metallic is 100, ambience eight, texture channel set to red and set the height to 10. Next, in the main view, we want to click and drag on the green circle to resize the light, not inside or outside it. The circle will turn yellow when you hover over it. Resize the light so the circle touches the four corners of the canvas, like this. Now drag the light's position to the top left corner, and then we're going to add another point light. All the settings of our new light are the same as our other light, except for the size, position, and intensity. So we need to reset up the intensity to 6, resize the light about the same as the last one, and then move this light to the top right corner. Okay, that's two lights down, three to go. New point light, set the intensity to 6, Resize it, move it to the bottom left corner, add another new point light, intensity to 6, resize, move this one to the bottom right corner. Okay, one last new point light, set the intensity to 6, resize it, and we'll just leave this one centered. Now, when I select through the lights in the lights panel, we can see the light size circles all pass through the center of the center light. So that looks pretty good. Now, before we confirm our settings, let's go to the presets dropdown and select save. Type in Atlas Hills. and hit enter. You only need to save this preset once. Finally, click OK to apply the effect and go back to the Photoshop document. That's it for step 25. Click the link to head on to the next part of the tutorial.